Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu uh, viewers welcome to our channel uh, make sure you subscribe like and share with your friends uh, today we are, we are going to look at the subtopic equation of tangents and normals to the curve for example uh, we have seen that if we have a curve Let's say here we have a curve. So this curve is y equals to x squared. And then you are told to find the gradient point on the curve. For example, let's say this point P. So you are told to find the gradient of that point on the curve. Okay? So for you to get the gradient, then what you need to do here is you have to find the gradient of the tangent passing that point. Then, the gradient of the tangent is same as the gradient of this point on the curve. Okay? So if you are told to find the gradient of a point on the curve, then what you need to do here is you have to find the gradient of the tangent passing that point. Once you get that, then you have the gradient of the point. Now, let us see how we can now find the equation of the tangent. Example, And now, we'll use this idea to find the equation of the tangent to the curve. y equals to x cubed plus 2x plus 1 at the point 1, 4. Okay? So, how are we going to find the equation? First, we have to find the gradient. Okay? So, we have to get the gradient uh, of this point on the curve y equals to x cubed plus 2x plus 1. And how are we going to get that? Then we have to differentiate the equation first. So to differentiate, now we say uh, dy all over dx should be equals to, that will be uh, 3, you multiply 3 times the coefficient of x cubed, which is 1. So 3 times 1, we have 3. Then you write x. You subtract 1 from the power. It becomes 2 plus the power here is always 1, so 1 times 2, we have 2. Then you subtract 1 from the power. 1 minus 1, that is 0. x power 0 is 1. 1 times 2, we have 2. And the derivative of a constant is always uh, 0. So we have the gradient uh, function, which is 3x squared plus 2. Then we have to find the gradient at the point 1, 4. In this case, the value of x is 1. So where we have x, we will replace with 1. Therefore, this one becomes 3 into bracket 1 squared uh, plus 2. Then here we have 1 squared, that is 1, times 3, we have 3, and then you add 2, which now becomes 5. Good. Now, once we have the gradient and we have the point, and the point here is 1, 4. Okay, so if you have the point and you have the gradient, then you can find the equation. Choose a, a non point, x, y, then we subtract y minus 4, y minus 4, all over x minus 1 equals to the gradient, which is 5. Okay, so this one now becomes a y minus 4 will be equals to 5 into bracket x minus 1. So here we have y minus 4 should be equals to 5x minus 5. So we have to collect like terms together. We have to take 4 on the other side. Therefore, we are going to get y should be equals to uh, 5x 
minus 5. Here, uh, here we have negative 4. When we take negative 4 on the other side, it becomes positive. So we have plus 4. So therefore, y will be equal to 5x minus 1. That is minus 5 plus 4, we have negative 1. So the equation of the tangent to the curve, y equals to x cubed plus 2x plus 1, will now be y equals to 5x minus 1. That is how you find uh, the equation of the tangent to the curve at a given point. Now, once we have seen how we can find the equation of the tangent, can we now find the equation of the normal to the curve? So we have uh, So we are going to use the same curve and the same point to find the equation of the normal to the curve. Good. Uh, for you to find the equation of the normal to the curve, first you have to find gradient of the tangent. The, therefore, solution, then we have uh, dy all over dx will be equal to uh, 3x squared plus 2 which is here. Then when x is 1, the gradient will be squared plus 2. So this now becomes 5. So the gradient of the tangent will be 5. But remember, we are looking for the equation of the normal to the curve. And we have to get the gradient of the normal to the curve. Okay, and we know that uh, perpendicular lines, that of the gradient of is always equals to negative one. That means uh, m1 times m2 should be negative one. That means the gradient of, of the tangent times the gradient of the normal should be equal to negative one because these two, these two lines are perpendicular to one another. If we have the gradient of the tangent, which is five, then five, times m2 will be equal to negative 1. So divide by 5, divide by 5. Therefore, the gradient of the normal will now be negative 1 over 5. The gradient of the normal is what? Negative 1 all over, all over 5. And, when, and then we have the point, which is 1, 4. Then from here, we can find the, uh, the equation of the normal to the curve. We choose a point, a known point, of coordinates x, y, minus 4. So now here we have y minus 4, y minus 4 all over x minus 1, x minus 1 is always equal to the gradient, which is negative 1 all over 5. So here we multiply uh, 5 into bracket, we have y minus 4 should be equal to negative 1 into bracket x minus 1. F 5 times y, we have 5y, five, 5 times 4, we have 20 should be equal to negative 1 times x, we have negative x, negative 1 times negative 1, that one becomes positive 1. Then from there, we have to collect the like terms together. Therefore, 5y will be equal to uh, minus x plus 1. We have to take negative 20 on the other side, so it becomes positive 20. Therefore, 5y will be equal to negative x plus 1 plus 20, we have 21. Then we divide by 5, by 5, by 5. 5 comes with 5, therefore, y will be equal to negative 1 all over 5x plus 21 all over 5. So that is the equation of the normal to the curve at a point one four. So that is basically how you find the equation of the tangent and the normal to the curve. Let, let us see another example uh, that is uh, 
you are told to determine the point on the curve y equals to a half x squared plus 4 at which the gradient is 8. At which the gradient is 8. Hence, define the equation of the normal to the curve at this point. <coughs> now, in this case, you are given the gradient. Okay? So you are told to find the point on the curve whose gradient is, uh, is 8. So first, we have to differentiate the equation. So we have uh, dy, uh, dy all over dx will be equal to, so here we have uh, 2, 2 times a half, 2 times a half, then we have x. So you subtract 1 from the power, so 2 minus 1, that is 1. And then the derivative of a constant is 0. So therefore, uh, by 2, 1, by 2, we have 1. So therefore, dy all over dx will be equal to x. But we are told the gradient is 8. So dy over dx, that's the gradient. So in this case, the gradient 8 should be equal to x. So the value of x now will be 8. Okay? The value of x will be, will be 8. So if we have the value of x, can we find the value of y? Therefore, uh, we use the equation y equals to a half x squared, but x is 8. So we have 8 squared uh -huh, plus 4. So we have a half, 8 squared, that is times 64, plus 4. By 2, 1, by 2, there we have 32. 32 plus 4, there we have 36. So when x is 8, y is 36. So we have the point, uh, we have the point on the curve, which is now 8, 36. So this is the point on the curve y equals to a half x squared at which the gradient is 8. At which we are told to find the equation of the normal to the curve. The equation of the normal to the curve. So that means we have to find the gradient of the normal to the curve. Uh, the product of the gradient of two perpendicular lines is always equal to negative 1. Therefore, 8 times m2 will be equal to negative 1. So we have uh, divide by 8 divide by 8. Therefore, the gradient of the normal now becomes negative 1 over 8. We have the gradient of the normal and then we have the point which is 8, 36. Then we can use now find the equation of the normal using this point and the gradient of the normal which is negative 1 over 8. So we can choose a, an unknown point whose coordinate is x, y. So y minus 36 all over x minus 8 should be equal to negative 1 all over 8. So we have 8 times y minus 36 should be equal to negative 1 into bracket x minus 8. So if we open the bracket, this one becomes uh, y times 8, 8y. This calculator, you multiply 8 times 36, you are going to get minus 288 should be equal to uh, negative x plus 8. Collect right terms together. So therefore we have uh, 8y should be equal to minus x plus 8. If you take negative 288 on that side, it becomes positive 288. So therefore, 8y will be equal to negative x plus 296. So divide by 8 both sides, divide by 8, divide by 8. So 8 cancel with 8, therefore y will be equal to negative 1 all over 8x plus 9 divided by 8, there we have 3 because of 24. We have 56, 15 divided by 8, we have, uh, we have 7. So the equation, equation of the normal now becomes y equals to negative 1 all over 8x plus 37. So that is how you are supposed to go about this kind of question. In this question, you are not given the point. So you have to get the point first uh, on the curve whose gradient is 8. Once you have the point, then you can find the equation of the normal to the curve at that point. So very much for watching us. Make sure you subscribe and uh, like, share with your friends so that they can benefit what we are uploading to our channel. Otherwise, uh, we wish you all the best uh, during this pandemic. Make sure 
you uh, stay safe, keep distance, and then you have to sanitize. Thank you very much.